Hey, welcome back. This is David Farkas with Red Dot Forum. Today, we're gonna take a look at the new Leica Thambar 90 mm f2.2. So stick around. Okay, so the 90 mm Thambar isn't so much a new lens as it is a reissue. Just like Leica did last year with the 28 mm Sumeron, this Thambar is based on the original Thambar, which Leica produced from 1935 to 1939, making about 3,000. If you're not familiar with the lens, the Thambar is a legendary soft focus lens, giving an unmistakable painterly look and feel to the images, similar to an impressionist painting. You know, even 80 something years later, the lens is still highly sought after and commands some pretty decent prices on the used market. Not because it's collectible, but because people actually want that look and feel. So what Leica's done here is come out with a new version of it. It has the same optical design as the original, which is a four element Hector type, but they have added the addition of modern lens coating to it, which is gonna prevent any kind of corrosion and will make it easy to clean without marking it up. So you still are gonna get that same look and feel from the vintage one, but with the modern conveniences of optical coatings, smooth mechanics, no haze or fungus, and a native M mount. So it can be used directly on an M10, an M240, an M monochrome, an SL or a CL with adapters. So it's really gonna open up the possibilities to people who want to experiment with a different look and feel. So let's take a look at the lens, open it up and see what we get. Okay, so first we're gonna open the outer box by pulling on the tab. And right here we can see we got a few little papers. This is a uh, new packet like is including with a lot of lenses, which is a filter packet information. We've got the instruction manual for the Thambar. The guarantee card. And the test certificate. Underneath this piece of foam, take that out, we get to the lens box itself. Okay, so now that we have the lens box, nice presentation box, we just Pull the sash away, and it opens right up. And inside we can see the lovely contents here. So I'll take everything out. We'll take a look at it one by one. Similar to the original lens, uh, the, the Thambar does come with a very classic looking leather pouch comes with a included shoulder strap. A pouch to hold the filter, which is right here, and the lens itself. So, definitely very vintage looking. Nice Leica embossing on the top. We've got the filter, which Leica calls the Central Aperture Thambar M in an E49 filter, which is the filter size for the new Thambar. I believe the original was 48, but 49 is definitely more standard in the Leica universe. And if we take a look at this filter, it's kind of interesting. Uh, I'll hold it against the white so you can see it is uh, black on the back, and the front of it is actually like a mirror. So what this is designed to do is block the sharper central rays of light coming into the lens. So only the outer periphery can get through, and that's actually where the higher amount of spherical aberration is on the lens, which creates that unique painterly out of focus effect. And then here is the lens itself. So it's pretty weighty. This is a all brass lens and a beautiful black paint with some chrome trim. So let's 
move the box out of the way and take a look. Okay, so here is the Thambar 90 millimeter as it comes out of the box. The first thing we wanna do is remove the push-on reversible metal shade that comes with a metal cap. And something to take note of here, let's put that down. The cap will not actually do anything on the lens. It will just fall off. Likewise, if you do put the push-on shade on the lens, does just push on, it's not a screw on. Again, it doesn't do anything. It will not stay on there. So the shade is designed in such a way that is only meant for storage. You reverse the shade, you put the cap on. Okay, we'll remove both. Take a look at the lens. On the back side, we have a nice metal rear cap. And you can see we have a standard M mount with a six bit coating right here. And as we work our way from the back side of the lens forward, we can see here a depth of field scale, which is pretty standard for Leica lenses, although these numbers are a little different than you might be used to seeing. Right here, we've got a distance scale in meters, only meters, there's no feet, so it is like the original and we're gonna go from infinity all the way down past one meter to, I would guess, 0.9 or 0.8 meters here. And you'll notice that the lens does change length, so the depth of field scale continues out, and the entire outer barrel actually moves as you focus through the range. So at close focus, it gets as long as it's going to, and at infinity, it is at its shortest. So notice that I'm grabbing the front of the lens and it's still focusing. The uh, unique feature here of this lens, you'll notice that the aperture markings are in two colors. We have red and white markings going down. And what that is, is the white markings are for when you're using the lens just like this, which is no filter. When we attach the filter, which again is the, has that center mirror to block out the sharper sh straight rays of light and only allow the rays on the periphery where there's the highest level of spherical aberration to pass through, which gives us a soft focus look. When using those, when using that filter, you wanna use these markings, which are the red markings. And you'll notice that the red markings stop at f6.3. Past that, they're only in white. That's not to say that you can't shoot here, but the effect of the soft focus will actually be negated after 6.3. I don't think this is gonna be a big issue for people because I'd guess if you're getting this lens, you're getting it for the soft focus capability, and that's gonna be most evident at the widest aperture. So I'm gonna guess most people are gonna shoot here right at the uh, you know, widest aperture or close to it. We take the filter off. I will show you the aperture itself, which is pretty lovely. It maintains a circular setting. There we go. It maintains a circular setting at every aperture setting, all the way from wide open to fully stopped down. And that just enhances the smoothness of the image to have it totally round. And if we get a nice angle, we can actually see those aperture blades here. So you can see it's quite a lot of aperture blades inside. I haven't counted, but definitely uh, a lot. And looking from the back side, we'll see the same thing. Something interesting about the aperture, you'll notice that when I turned that, there is no click stops. There's no detents. This is how every Thambar comes. It's designed more like a cine lens in terms of the aperture control. So it's gonna be smooth through the whole range. 
The Leica Thambar M 90mm f2.2 has just started shipping here in the United States. It comes in at a price of $6,495, which really isn't that bad considering that ones that are over 80 years old go for that price used. So here you get that classic vintage soft focus look with all the benefits of new construction. If you're interested in the lens, I recommend placing a pre-order, which you can do at LeicaStoreMiami.com. I've got the links in the description below. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If so, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel. And for the latest Leica news, reviews, show reports, and more, be sure to check out red.forum.com. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next video.